So, hello to everyone. I am Dr. Sachin, Psychiatry Faculty. This is a UPSC Combined Medical Services paper conducted last week. Uh, these are the questions related to psychiatry and psychopharmacology. Mm -hmm. Most of the questions are related to drugs. Long-term treatment of bipolar disorder with lithium carbonate. Lithium has been a very important drug. Actually, although lithium decreases appetite, but it causes weight gain. So, one is a false statement. Hypothyroidism is known due to lithium. Increase in parathyroid. Hyperparathyroidism is known. Nephrogenic diabetes in is known. So, the answer of this question is 2, 3, three, four. 2, 3, and 4. Have a look. Adverse effect of lithium chart given in Kaplan Psychiatry textbook. Have a look here. Can you see hypothyroidism? Yes. Can you see hyperparathyroidism? Yes. Can you see nephrogenic diabetes insipidence? Yes. Can you see weight gain? Although appetite is lost, but still there is a weight gain. So lithium and valproate, both of them cause weight gain. Please, I request you, suggest you to go through this chart. You might be asked more questions related to lithium side effect in future. This is the following antidepressant act by inhibitor of Mao. So they are asking Mao inhibitors. Mao inhibitors are of three types. Non-selective Mao A, which we call as reversible inhibitor of Mao A. Rima and Mao B. Rima include uh, moclobemide and pargeline. Mao B includes selegeline. And these are the non selective trenalcephalamine, phenazine. So, this is also non selective, this is also non selective, this is also non selective. Answer is 1, 2, and 4. Dosal pin is a tricyclic antidepressant, also known as tocheabine. Tricyclic antidepressant. Answer is 1, 2, and 4. Another question related to drug, which is the following are SSRI, Excitalopram SSRI, Fluxetine SSRI, Sertaline SSRI. Once again, amitriptyline is tricyclic and The answer is 1, 3, and 4. 1, 3, and 4. Okay, very simple basic question related to classification. Now, a core psychiatric question, which are the following. Our first rank symptoms. First rank symptoms include three thought, thought insertion, thought withdrawal, and thought broadcast. Three perception, auditory hallucination, first person, second person, and third person. Three made phenomenon, made feeling, made action, made impulse, and two special symptoms, somatic passivity and delusional perception. So, auditory hallucination is a first rank symptom. Thought broadcast is a first rank symptom. Delusional perception is a first rank symptom. Answer is 1, 2, and 3. Delirium is not a first rank symptom. Next question. Consider the following statement regarding one key cause of symptom. It is a rare complication of chronic alcohol use characterized by ophthalmoplasia, ataxia, and delirium. Global confusion of thermoplasia and cancer. True statement. It is there's damage to medullary body and dorsal medial nucleus of thalamus. True statement. The underlying cause is vitamin B12. False statement. It is due to thiamine deficiency, which is B1. The syndrome can result also arise from malabsorption or protracted vomiting. Yes. Even sometime in hyperemesis gravid this can be observed. So the answer is 1, 2, and four. It is a syndrome of thiamine deficiency seen in chronic alcoholics 
that time in deficiency could be the result of malabsorption or protected vomiting. Warning case is global confusion, optimal plagia, ataxia, and cause of is recent memory loss, enterograde, amelius. Cause of sometimes also has confabulation, filling of the gaps in the recent memory. This is known as warning cause of syndrome. Okay. Next question. Which of the following are inherited causes of dementia? Yes, Alzheimer is certainly inheritable genetic cause. Huntington is inheritable genetic cause. Wilson is inheritable genetic cause. But Punch Young syndrome, chronic traumatic encephalopathy due to repeated uh, trauma to the brain, dementia usually stickle. It is not a uh, heritable cause. Answer is 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, and 3. Answer is 1, 2, and 3. 7 in the last question. Which of the following are classified as mood stabilizing psychopromotion? Every student knew that lithium and valproate are mood stabilizer, but please remember we have not reached pyramid. Carbamazepine, its brothers, of Scarbazepine, Nestle Carbamazepine, and even antipsychotics are nowadays classified as mood stimulants. So, answer is 1, 2, and 3. That's all about. The UPSC questions that were asked. If you have any questions, please write it in the comment section and I shall be happy to answer. Thank you very much.